Hi, you guys. It's Yaz. And today I want to talk about how narcissists are critical and judgmental. Oh, my goodness. If you've ever dealt with narcissists, this is like for every narcissist, they're very, very critical, judgmental people. So I'm going to get into how, you know, they judge everybody. And this is one of the big red flags that you are dealing with a narcissist because they're constantly, constantly judging you, putting you down, and they do all of this to lift themselves up and feel superior. All right, so let's get into how a narcissist is judgmental. Number one, narcissists love to judge you by how you look. There's two things a narcissist is going to judge you on immediately when they first start talking to you or get to know you. They're going to judge you by how you look and they're going to judge you by how much money you have because that's what a narcissist values. They value, you know, whether something is aesthetically appealing or attractive and they also value whether you have money and you could be a benefit to them, all right? They're worried about their image. So they'll always want to be around, you know, people that make them look good, okay? And if you're not looking good or you're not looking up to par, they're going to have they're going to say something about it, all right? Now people come back and say, "Well, the narcissist gets, you know, threatened by if you look good and and you know, they that's why they don't want you to self-care and all of that." That is true, but a narcissist, when they're around other people, and let's say you're their partner or you're their family member or something like that, they want to impress other people. So they're going to be concerned about how you look and they're going to be very judgmental. They're going to tell you, you know, you know, why are you wearing this? Or, you know, your clothes aren't ironed right? Or why did you wear those shoes? The next thing a narcissist is going to judge is how you talk, all right? If you've been out with narcissists and you're again you're out around other people, remember they're worried about their their image. They're going to watch how you talk to other people. If they see that you're winning other people over, let's say you're talking, you're, you know, building a bond with somebody there in the group, that what's that narcissist going to tell you, especially a covert narcissist? They're going to tell you, don't talk too much. You talk too much. What they're worried about is that you're shining. You're shining and, and you're looking better than them. So they're going to try to suppress you and they're going to tell you either you talk too much, you don't talk enough. They're always going to try to put you down in how you act and your behaviors. Okay. Another way a narcissist judges you. They judge you by how you raise your kids. Nobody has a bigger mouth about how you raise your kids than a narcissist who does nothing for their kids or is not there for their kids. Those are the ones that always are sitting there judging you, telling you you're doing something wrong. Meanwhile, they haven't put themselves out or done anything for their kids. They're there for the good times. They're not there for the hard times, but they're quick to tell you that you don't know how to raise kids, all right? They love to put you down every which way. Moving along, you guys, because I did this whole list. I was thinking about all the things of how narcissists love to judge you. The next way they love to judge you is by what you eat. Oh, what you eat. They'll say to you, well, why do you have to buy this? Or why do you buy bologna that's so unhealthy? Or, you know, you eat like garbage. Or if it's the other way around, oh, you, you know, you're a health nut. You always eat this. You always eat that. They always have to critique everything that you're eating. You know, they have to always make a sly, uh, you know, a, a snide little remark or something to give you a complex, a complex about what you're eating or what you feed the kids or you're not healthy or you're overly healthy. See, the narcissist is the one who knows better, okay? They think they know better. And they're also very, very judgmental about your cooking. They're going to tell you, oh, you don't know how to cook. Oh, this is too hot. Uh, you know, this is too spicy. Oh, this is overdone. This is underdone. They're the great experts in the kitchen. They love to tell people how they don't know how to cook or their cooking isn't good or they love to cr critique it. Oh, there's too much salt in here. Oh, I can't eat this. 
or, you know, this is all you made. All right. Meanwhile, they're not doing anything. They're not putting themselves out. Sometimes you'll get a narcissist that will go in the kitchen and try to cook and, you know, try to pride themselves into thinking they're the great chef. Oh, I'm the great chef. I know how to cook, but you don't know how to cook. All right. Meanwhile, their food is a bunch of slop. All right. But they think they know better. Okay. They're the great critique. They're the great chef. Next, how a narcissist judges you. A narcissist loves to judge who your friends are. They love to judge who your friends are. And what they love to do is start problems between you and your friends or you and your family, okay? So they'll say something like, oh, your friends aren't there for you or your friends don't have your back or why do you need to be hanging out with them? They're not really your friends. What that narcissist is doing is they're trying to isolate you. They are jealous of your friendship with these other people. They're jealous of the fact that you have a support system and they want to ruin that. They want you to be alone. They want you to be codependent on them. And why is that? So that they have the control over you and you're dependent on them. All right. This way they can control you. Another way narcissists judge you is by your family. Oh, they love to put your family down. Oh, they just love to put your family down. They'll say things like, oh, you're just like your toxic mother, or you're just like your toxic father, or now I see why you're the way you are. Just look at your family. Why do they do this? Because they know it's a low blow. It's a low blow when you bring somebody's family into it or you talk about somebody's children. And this is something that narcissists do. They love to hit below the belt, okay? That's one of the ways you know you're dealing with a narcissist because they have no filter, all right? They're the kind that anything will come out of their mouth, you know, anything cutting, biting, you know, they'll curse on your dead father or your dead mother. They'll put you down people that are relatives that are there that can't defend themselves and they're wicked with it. Okay. So they're going to judge your family and a way to hurt you is by judging your family and telling you, oh, your family's a bunch of losers. Oh, your family is toxic. Oh, this and that. Okay. They're going to, again, what are they trying to do? Number one, they're trying to cut you down and make you feel like you're nothing. They're trying to shame you by shaming your family. And also, they want you to also be isolated by your family and say, oh, well, where's your family? Your family doesn't do anything for you. Your family's not there for you. Your family's toxic. They want to, you know, mind fuck you so that you hate your family. All right. So they're constantly going to be judging your family as well. So let's go over the list of things of how these toxic people constantly judge you. They judge you how you look. They'll either tell you you're very fat, even though you may be average and athletic. They'll tell you you're too thin and you're unhealthy. Ooh, nobody likes anybody too thin. They'll always have something to say to give you a complex, all right? They want to put you down. Even if you're looking good, they're going to find a hair in an egg. That's why you got to understand something. You can't take it personally. You're dealing with a toxic person who is going to look to hurt you any which way. It's like a client I had who was divorcing her husband and he was getting wicked with it. And I told her, I said, you know what? You have to expect this. He's going to get wicked with you. But remember, All of what he says doesn't mean shit. He doesn't have anything on you with regard to going to court. Judges don't care about that petty bullshit, all right? They care about what's in the best interest of the children, and they care about the financial issues involved in the divorce. They don't care about the back and forth name calling. So the point I'm trying to make in all this is you can't let this this bullshit that comes out of their mouth get to you. They're trying to hurt you. They're trying to put you down. And why? Most of the time they're jealous of you or they're threatened of you. So they want to put you down. You have to just say, oh, you know what? They, they're just trying to rip me down, rip down my self-esteem. Look where it's coming from. Look at them. And half the time you look at these people that are critical and judgmental, they live in glass houses. They Half the time, you know, they're not the ones that should be talking, all right? They shouldn't be talking because they're toxic as fuck. They live, their lives are a mess, okay? Their lives are a mess. And yet, 
it's the lowest ones whose lives are a mess, who don't have their shit together, who, who, you know, you know, depend on other people who can't support themselves. You know, the broke busted narcissist is the one with the biggest mouth. And why is that? Because they're the most insecure and they're the ones that want to break you down. Okay. Because they feel threatened and jealous by you. So you guys, like I said, they're going to judge you by how you look. They're going to judge you by how you talk. They're going to judge you by how you dress. They're going to judge you by how you raise your kids. They're going to judge you by how you eat. They're going to judge you by who, who, what friends you have. Okay. And they're also going to judge your family. All right. They're very judgmental and they love to victim shame you. If you ever go to a narcissist and you're going through something difficult, okay, the people that are there for you are the empathic type of people and those are your people. But the people that put you down and say things like, well, you did it to yourself. Oh, you're getting a divorce because you did it to yourself. You have bad judgment. You pick bad partners. Yeah, you did it to yourself, okay? These are not your people. These are narcissists that are trying to put you down, okay? They're also going to judge how you picked your exes. I see this all the time in the comments where you have the narcissist on the comments saying things like, uh, oh, well, look at the exes that you're picking, blah, 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 blah. Meanwhile, the exes are the ones that misled, lied, you cheated, and you know you had no clue. How are you supposed to know at the time that you met your ex that they were toxic? How are you supposed to know? This person portrayed a totally different image from who they truly are. And, you know, because you didn't know about narcissism, you had no clue. So, but yet you have these narcissistic people that want to sit there and judge other people or judge narcissistic abuse survivors and say, well, you know, that's your fault for who you picked. That's your fault for who you picked. It's like, no, motherfucker. I had no way of knowing who I was dealing with, okay? And who are you to judge me? Let's take a look at your life. When people start to judge you, all right, what you say to them is, now you judged me. Now it's my turn to judge you. And then you rip into them, okay? You don't let them get away with that, and you don't sit there and defend yourself. But again, it's always the people that are talking and judging you who shouldn't be talking and judging you. I always say, look at the source, all right? So these people are not kind. They're not understanding, you know, and they want to just constantly put you down for everything. But, you know, when you see somebody is not accepting of you and they're critical and judgmental, you got to say, uh, 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 not today, Satan. Now I see where this is coming. This is not my people. Somebody who's not understanding or kind or, or sees where I'm coming from is not my people. I'm dealing, most likely you're dealing with a critical judgmental narcissist that wants you, puts you down because it makes them feel superior or puts you down because they're threatened of you or they're jealous of you. And in any event, you deal with somebody like this, you've got to cut them out of your life because after a while, they're going to give you a complex and they're going to break down your self-esteem and your self-worth. And what does that do, you guys? That's going to give you anxiety and depression. And that's why a lot of these people are in therapy after dealing with a narcissist because the narcissist broke down their self-esteem, their self-worth. And now these people are basket cases getting therapy when it should be the fucking therapist who needs therapy to look at themselves in the mirror. Okay. Narcissists love to tell you, oh, you need to look in the mirror. No, uh, turn it around. Go take a look in the mirror yourself because you're not taking accountability. So, you know, never, ever take any, you know, believe any of this nonsense that comes out of a narcissist's mouth. They're just trying to hurt you. They're just trying to break you down, to lift themselves, to make themselves feel better. They're the toxic ones. Understand this. They're the toxic toxic ones. Take a good look at who's being critical and judgmental of you. Who the fuck are they to sit there and judge you? 
And you see this in politics all the time. They're ripping up other politicians. But who the fuck are they to sit there and criticize and judge somebody when they've got skeletons in their closet? And I'm going to leave it right there because I'm not going to get into politics. But you guys, you got to think outside the box. You got to see the game and you got to see how people manipulate everybody manipulate partners, manipulate family, manipulate the public. Why do they do this? Why do they rip up other people? Because they're trying to put you down in order to lift themselves up and because you're a fucking threat. So when you're a threat to the narcissist, they're going to try to destroy you, destroy your credibility and rip you up and put you down, okay? Disengage from these type of people disengage and walk away. So I hope that helps you guys. If it does, hit the subscribe button, share the podcast, follow me on YouTube, you guys. Everything I'm I'm shifting over to YouTube, okay? At the Game Exposed podcast, where I have over 4,000 videos there, a lot on the covert narcissists. I know them so well. I'm surrounded. <laughs> you guys should only know, all right? A lot on covert narcissists on my YouTube at the Game Exposed podcast on YouTube. My Facebook is the Game EXP 123. Backup page is the Game EXP 707. Any other pages on Facebook are fake pages. Please report them. My Instagram is the Game EXP 123. And TikTok is the Game Exposed. All the links are in my bio, you guys. If you want to follow me for other information and posts on narcissism. And the other thing is, if you're looking for one-on-one phone coaching, go to the link in the bio of this podcast for my website where I explain and give you information how to have a one-on-one phone coach with me, you know, confidential to talk about any questions or problems you're having with the narcissist.